name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On behalf of the entire Brotherhood of St. Tegon's Monastery, we want to assure everybody of our prayers. And as we take this moment to consider the situation that is upon us, the difficulties that we might be facing, let us continue to remember to pray, as St. Paul reminds us, to pray without ceasing. How can we do this? It's a very difficult task, and it can only be gathered over, uh, done after many, many years of, of prayerful service to the Lord. However, we can begin today with small things, and one of them that I'd like to offer to you is what I offer to parishes as I visit all across America, the five and five rule. Five and five rule is very, very simple. Uh, we start with the Trisagion, O Heavenly King, Comfort of the Spirit of Truth, Word everywhere present and fill us all things, continuing on through the Our Father, and then simply we do five prostrations using the Jesus prayer with our body. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me. And we go all the way down to the floor and touch our forehead to the floor. Come back up. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me. All the way down. We can pray for our children or our families. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon my family and those who are sick. We do that five times. And then for just five minutes, we consider saying the Jesus prayer. Sometimes faster, sometimes slower. But whether kneeling or standing but not sitting, we use something like a prayer rope. And just for five minutes, we say the Jesus prayer. Lord, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me. After that, we read a chapter from the Gospel. Say, it is truly me to bless the O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, I gave his birth to God, the word truth, Theotokos, you magnify thee. Glory to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. This is the five and five rule. It's basically five prostrations saying the Jesus prayer, using our body in prayer, which is very important. Then five minutes just standing in front of the icon corner with the candle lit and the gospel open, saying the Jesus prayer slowly or maybe quicker, but saying it with our heart and allowing it to be a tool rather than, than just a, a mechanical repetition, but rather something that we can we can use as an opportunity to dialogue with the Lord with. And it's through this very brief prayer rule, reading the gospel, saying it is truly meet, that a very small window can be opened into our heart and we can enter more deeply into that mystery, which is the kingdom to come. To the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.